Um, my name is Luana Zugir. I'm from Alliance team. I'm black belt, have seven years. Training Jiu-Jitsu, have 20 years. And the most part of my life, I, I doing Jiu-Jitsu, I always compete and I try, I try to do a career on this. So in my black belt, I have really great t titles. I'm five times world champion from EBGJF, three times world champion, uh, world pro champion here in Abu Dhabi. I'm ADCC champion and national champions, Pan Am, so I did a really great job in my competition career in the black belt. I come to Abu Dhabi have one year and in the beginning it was a little hard to find a train because everything changed, so here in Abu Dhabi we don't have a team trained together, like always was in alliance. Everybody from the same team, come from the same school. So in the beginning, it was a little hard, and I got a, a little time, you know, to, to start to know how the things here happen. And, but I have around eight months. Uh, so I, I start to train with Elder Medeiros, Bob Esponja, here in FGB, in uh, Jiu-Jitsu Federation in Abu Dhabi. And then when I decided to come back to train here, I start to feel good again, so really today I'm very happy with my training. Uh, I train every day with this group, it's uh, Liga, we call Liga, so come people from different places, but everybody's helping one each other, and Elder always take care about everybody, so now it's amazing. Out of this, I have time enough to do my drill trains with Philippe Sagat, it's a partner train from Alliance team from Sao Paulo, really a friend for me and he helped me a lot here in Abu Dhabi with the training. And then I have also my, my physical training. So today I'm happy because I, I train with people I like to train. I have time enough to train. And so for me, now it's great to you know the train here in Abu Dhabi, it's really good. In the really, for me, now it's more easy to connect my, my work, my class, my Jiu-Jitsu class with my training. Uh, here in Abu Dhabi, I, I work with Jiu-Jitsu and I love to work with the people for who I work, for who I teach. And so when you are happy with your job, when you do what you love and you still have time to do your training, so you really enjoy that, you know. So for me today, connect the both, connect my job and connect my trains, it's amazing, it's perfect. Yeah, in the really, I just didn't compete the world because uh, I have an injury in the like three three days uh, before the tournament it was the only tournament I didn't compete because of that. The rest of the tournaments I compete, and but next year I I love to train and I love to be ready to compete. So of course I want to be there. I want to compete. I want to win the the worlds again was the first word in 10 years I stay out. So I really want to be there again. And my plan is keep training how I'm training, you know, and just be ready and go there and do my best, you know. It's what I do, have more than 10 years, so I just want to keep doing that. It's what makes me happy. When I was in Brazil, think about uh, if I'm going to accept some offer job to go out of Brazil or if I want to stay there. I think a lot about starting the MMA and in the really start to train for that. Uh, but then when I decided to come here, the things change a little and I come back to train Jiu-Jitsu hard again. Not come back, you know, because in the really I never stopped to train Jiu-Jitsu, but I just let the MMA on the side and keep training Jiu-Jitsu hard. And then past some time, Libori was here and he invited me to go to ATT and stay a little time there. And I was there, and I really enjoyed the place, I enjoyed the training, I, I enjoyed to learn. Because what I think, it's like, I'm a fighter, so I love to fight, you know, and I love to learn different kinds of fights. And this makes me really happy, you know, when you learn and, and you feel you can do, you can be good in that. So I start to be excited with this again. But the point is, I love to train Jiu-Jitsu, and I know if I'm going to the MMA, I need to control my, and to balance my strengths. So it's always like that, you know. My 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 company give me all the support for training Muay Thai and and learn different things. And I'm I'm learning, I'm training Muay Thai, you know. But uh, I also love to train Jiu-Jitsu, you know. And so I don't know what are gonna happen, you know. I'm just learning, but I. 
I don't have more on my mind, you know. I, I want to fight. I want to do one fight. I want to feel. I want to see how I'm going to be there. But uh, I, I just don't put pressure on this, you know. Like, if, if it happens, I want to be nice. And I hope be ready for that. In the real, if, if, I'm gonna, if I decide to fight, I'm going to be ready for that. But uh, I'm just training what I love, you know. So I'm learning a new, new kind of style, fight style. And also, I keep training hard jiu-jitsu. So let's see. I don't have sure about anything, you know. Uh, I changed to Alliance in December 2008. Um, I, in that time, I have one year in my black belt. I was under Barbosa, training Barbosa jiu-jitsu team. And in that time, I just put on my mind, I really want to be good, you know. I really want to be a world champion, black belt world champion. And I want to be the best female fighter in the world. I just put that on my mind. And I was trained for that and have many good fighters there in Barbosa team. But when I decided to change to Alliance team, the most important for me and what make all the difference was like uh, everybody in Alliance think, think the same, you know. Of course, I have people who just want to train because love to train Jiu-Jitsu and don't want to compete. But who decide to compete really want to be the best. And when you train with champions and when you train with some persons who everybody think the same, it's more easy, you know. You just go together with the team. And what it's, this happened with me. So when I change to Alliance, uh, I keep training hard. And, but I, I, I was with champions. I was with... Everybody who was with me every day went the same and believed in the same dream. So I just put on my mind, if everybody can, if have so many champions here, why not be a champion also? So I just train hard, you know, and this makes all the difference, you know. When you see someone on your train, every day you are with the same person doing the same train, and this person is a champion, you just believe, you know. So I, I will do the same, and for sure I will be a champion. Fabio Gurgel is an amazing coach, and this makes all the difference. Have to be someone really good to, to, uh, to put a lot of champions in the same place and control the train. And I, I think this makes all the difference, you know. So it's a lot of champions together, but also we will have Fabio Gurgel, and then everybody together makes the best team in the world, this alliance team. So when I change... Um, I compete in 2009, the world I won, 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13. So all the years, you know, I, I won the world and the other, the other tournaments. Of course, we, sometimes we lost, sometimes we win. Uh, this is part of the sport. But the, the thing is, uh, I became a champion. When I started to train with champion, I became a champion. So really for me, Alliance team, it's, it's amazing. Fabio Gurgel, it's amazing. And I really feel it's the best in the world because we have everything connected, you know. I hope, uh, you know, it's a dream to fight the Metamorphs because I, I really think Jiu-Jitsu is more nice, it's more interesting when you fight to submission the person and not just think about points. So I always try to put this on my mind and this on my game, you know, fight to submission, fight always looking for uh, finish the fight. So... I hope, I hope one day fight the Metamor, it's like a dream, you know, I never fight, they never invite me, but if one day happen, for sure I will accept and I will be ready to do my best there, and I'm going to be amazing. It's a hard question. <laughs> and I like, I like girls who have the same style than, than mine, you know, who fights to submission. So I did amazing fights with Michelle Nicolini, we fight since the purple belt, and I respect her a lot. For me, she's one of the most best uh, fighters in the world. And I think I'm going to be nice if, if I have the chance to fight with her, you know, in, in Metamors or, or some, uh, some events like this. Uh, I think I'm going to be an amazing fight, you know. For sure, we're going we're gonna to do a really good fight. Uh, I fight the last three DCCs in 2009. I won. 2011, I got a third place. And last year, 2013, I got second place. And I like to, to fight the DCC. When I was young, it was like a dream for me. And I, I have sure it's a dream for many, many, many fighters. But uh, the only problem for still fighting the DCC is the divisions, the female divisions. They put the, just two divisions. It's under 60 and more than 60. 
and these last three years I I got under 16 and it's not hard for me you know because I, I need to really cut a lot of weight and we don't we don't check with the weight just one day we need to check the weight on Friday check again on Saturday fight and check again Sunday and fight so for me it's really hard to get this weight you know so I always say no no for me halas you know I don't want anymore I like I don't feel good when I cut so many weights but I'm a fighter and I love to fight you know so when when they invited me I always say okay I can I can I can get this weight again you know so I don't know what's going to happen next year uh, what I hope is they they put a, another division cuz I think it's not fair you know 6 it's really under and more than this it's open so I think if, if they put a, another division in the middle, are going to be really great for the most part of the girls, you know. Everybody going to really like this. So what I hope, it's a new division. But if you don't have, I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, so I just want to say thank you for the opportunity to be here giving this interview. And keep watching. I have sure 2015 is going to be a great year. Peace.